on developing good health practices. And it's interesting, in my church, the folks that need to be there, working out, it's the scary folks. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say that. But the older folks, the overweight, I won't say, the overweight folks, are not the ones that are bad. It's the skinny folks that really don't need it. Right, right. And you ever watch, you ever watch in your city, there's certain areas where people are just out there running, and they're all skinny. Right. You see very few overweight folks out there right. jogging. Right. And it just seems like the people who need it don't take advantage of it, and the folks who really don't need it are the ones who do. But I can't overemphasize the connection between these two. Because I know how I feel. I, if I don't feel good, somebody else needs to preach. Somebody else needs to teach. Because I cannot give it my all. I just believe that whenever you're doing something for God, right, right. you, you, you got to give it 110. Y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing to me. And then, not only must I connect spiritually and physically, but I must also connect and develop intellectually. I'm not just a physical, not just a spiritual and physical being, I'm also an intellectual being, right. and I have intellectual needs. Right. And so does your congregation. So does your congregation. Amen. Amen. It used to be, I remember when I was coming up, my father pastored, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we were in the store spot again, the church was about this size. And if we had one teacher in the church, we thought we we got a teacher in our church. Because nobody back there had graduated from, from college. There they got through high school. And so if we had a, a teacher in our church, we thought we, we, we got a teacher in our church. But now, we are ministering to people who are not only teachers, but principals. And not only principals, but doctors. And lawyers. One of my deacons is, is an attorney. My, my, my dentist is a member of my church. I have PhDs, more than one, in my church. And if I haven't, if I'm not growing and developing intellectually, I can't relate, and neither can they relate to me. All right. 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 Amen. 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 And see, so we got to understand something. That people are not following us because we have a title. Yes, sir. I could have bishop written across my chest. Mm -hmm. That's not why people are pastors. Yeah. That is not why people follow us. Mm -hmm. Leadership has nothing to do with your title. Amen. Come on. Right, man. All right. Leadership has everything to do with your influence. Influence. That's right. That's right. Amen. You can have a title, but if somebody in your congregation has got the influence, come on now. That's it. That's who they're following. You may be the pastor, but they're the leader. That's right. That's right. That's right.